What's up everybody? Welcome to this edition of Make This, an online cooking show of whatever the hell I feel like making. And today I feel like sticking with my Filipino roots and I want to make something called adobo and baboy, aka pork adobo. So I'm going to go give you the recipe that I've learned from my parents. They didn't really write anything down but I just kind of watched what they were doing. And I'm going to show you the ingredients you need, the steps to do it, and the finished product. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. So here are the ingredients that you need to make adobong baboy. The first ingredient you're going to need is obviously pork. Now the pork I'm using here is a boneless country style ribs and they come in long strips and I just basically cut the strips up into even chunks. Next thing you're going to need is about a cup and a fourth of soy sauce. Next you're going to need about three fourths of a cup of lemon juice. You can use vinegar, but I like, I think vinegar is kind of too strong for it. That's why I like to use lemon juice. Next, you're going to need about 7-8 cloves of garlic. I smashed them and I did a rough chop on them, and about 3 bay leaves. You're also going to need about 1 medium sized yellow onion, roughly chopped up. You're going to need about a fourth of a, or actually not a fourth, actually a tablespoon of whole peppercorn. Now my trick to this, what makes mine a little bit different than everybody else, is I like to use a little bit of brown sugar. This is about a fourth of a cup just to try and melt everything out. And the last ingredient you're going to need is about water. I am not going to say how much water you need, it's just going to be enough to cover the pork when everything's in the pot. So these are the ingredients you're going to need. Let's go on with the steps. So here are the steps to make adobo and baboy, and it's very easy. All you need to do first is get a medium saucepan. And then what you're going to do next is you're going to take all your pork and just put it at the bottom. Next thing you're going to do, next thing you're going to do is take your onions, pour it in, your garlic and your bay leaves, pour it in. What basically is going to happen is you're just going to put everything into the pot. That's it. Nothing special you need to do, just throw everything in. I'm going to take my peppercorns, throw them in. I'm going to take my lemon juice, all in. And now I'm going to take my soy sauce. Pour that all in. Next, my brown sugar. Now, like I said, with the water, you're going to use enough just to cover everything. So here's my water. Just enough to cover the pork, like that. So now, what I'm going to do. Mix everything all up. And just like that, that's all you need to do for this. Now what I'm going to do now is I am going to take this to my stove, bring it up to a boil, and then once it comes to a boil, I'm going to turn it back down and let it simmer for about 20 to 30 minutes until the pork is completely cooked. Alright, so here it is. I just put it on the stove. I covered it. And I'm putting it on a high burner to bring it up to a boil, like I said. And once it gets to a boil, we are going to bring it down to a simmer and just let it cook until the pork is basically cooked. Alright, looks like everything is at a boil right now. So what I'm going to do <clears throat> is turn down the heat to about medium low. Medium low. And let this keep cooking. Alright, so it's been about 15 minutes, it's been boiling on its low heat, all the pork looks like it's been cooked through. So let's go see the final product. Alright, so here is the final product of Adobong Baboy. That's all you gotta do to make it. One way I can explain what this tastes like, I can't say it's like teriyaki sauce, some people think it is, but it's not. It's a um, garlicky onion meat. <laughs> That's all I can think of. 
That's what it looks like up close. Mm hmm. Some good stuff. So, if you like what I'm doing, like, subscribe, share. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, or complaints, well, you can all can kick rocks. Because I really don't give a rat's ass. So, I suggest you make this. And until next time, eat. <laughs>